adventure. It's August the 2nd and it is what people call prime time or peak season. When you've got good conditions, definitely the time of year that you'd want to be out fishing if you get water. So yeah, I'm going. It's an interesting idea really, probably to hedge all your bets in one week's fishing. But as salmon fishermen, that's kind of what we do. We wait all year for our one week in the summer and we hope and cross our fingers or pray to whoever you pray to that all the stars will align and everything will come together for your one week of fishing. It's a bit of a mad, it's a bit of a mad plan. And it's something that I've always thought was a bit mad with salmon fishing. But I also kind of like it. Makes it a little bit more stressful, a little bit more exciting. Cardin, which is one of the best sea trout beats on the Spain. I don't really know what I'm doing. You kind of know what you're doing. Damon definitely should know what he's doing. So we're kind of relying on you, Damon. Cool. What's happening, Damon? Uh, I'm tackling up two rods for sea trout. Yeah, yeah, I've got a 10 foot for a seven and a 10 foot for a six weight. And I'm going to start off with a floating line on one and then on the six weight, this is my favourite line for sea trout fishing, it's a midge tip, so it's got three foot of um, clear intermediate on it and it just like digs the flies in a little bit and you can kind of feel the take a bit nicer, so that's what I'm doing, I'm setting up tonight, um, do you want to see the flies? Yeah. This is my little sea trout box. You don't need many flies. I probably only use maybe four patterns of, out of all this for sea trout. The rest is just for show. That one, little tube fly, and then I've got this one here, which is like a little stinger with a bit of arctic fox in the wing. They're my two favourite flies. And then if I want something smaller, that's it. That's all you need. Yeah, and the sparser the better. I'm not an expert, by the way, but I've caught a few sea trout in my life, but yeah, definitely not an expert. Who knows, man? We do have sea trout in the Hebrides, but we fish for them during the day because there's lock fishing and that. So I've not really done much nighttime sea trout fishing. Dabbled in it. I've caught a few smaller trout, but never had a big, massive in the dark so I'm, uh, I'm excited yeah I'm slightly apprehensive actually I, I don't know what I'm going to be like fishing in the dark because I do so much of my fishing just with sight through seeing and I don't know how I'm going to be when I have to feel I think uh, I don't know I have this thing that I think it might all fall apart so we'll soon find out It looks good, it looks like it's quite pacey though. Maybe it's just lifted a little bit, but that's, yeah, it's fine. We'll give it a crack. Putting waders on there. Yeah, just to keep warm. So, Lana, how are you feeling about sea trout fishing in the dark? I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive. Really? 
Yeah, actually. Um, I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to wading. And I secretly kind of don't like the dark. Mm. But you guys can... <laughs> <laughs> you guys can do all the fishing. <laughs> yeah, great. And have a nice time. Yeah, and I'll just be in here sleeping. Okay, it's midnight. We had to wait till midnight because it's Sunday night going into Monday morning in Scotland. You can't fish until it's officially Monday. Boo. So it's officially Monday. So I'm going to try and catch a sea trout now. I'm really tired and I'm really excited at the same time. It's a new feeling for me. Lana's really excited. Yeah, Lana's asleep. I think, don't think Lana's coming. <laughs> wakey, wakey. She, it with our card she committed the sea trout cardinal sin. You're filming me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and she decided to take a nap. That's a really bad move when you see trout fishing. Mm. You should have stayed up and chatted shit and drunk coffee. Mm. Anyway. Right. I'm going for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I didn't catch anything. It's getting a bit cold now. I see my breath. Um Yeah. So it's nighttime sea trout fishing. Turns out it's really hard to uh, film. You don't really see anything because it's dark. So maybe not the best idea for a film I've ever had. And we didn't catch anything. And then we've decided to stop this and go to bed and uh, get up in the morning and go salmon fishing. And that's the plan. I'm pretty tired now. Yeah. Oh well, that's sea trout fishing. <coughs> Sup? <laughs> so. so, we went sea trout fishing last night and um, nothing happened. I looked online and seen that the, they had a two and a half foot rise on Saturday. So I decided to um, can the sea trout fishing and we're going to go salmon fishing. So um, the plans have all changed. But that's okay because um, water is always good. Water is always a good thing. It's getting to that time of year and the fish are starting to move up. So I think we'll go salmon fishing and hopefully catch a salmon. So, salmon fishing. We're going to fish um, in Cardin, which is Upper Spay, um, which is kind of out of the main, it's a little bit like out of the main river and like famous beats and stuff like that and it's it's really far up the river uh, but it's a beautiful beat and we're coming in August fish are on the move um, yeah hopefully hopefully there'll be a few fish up there and we're stopping at the passing because there's something wrong To clip the rod first. Yeah, it might be my fault. All right. Are you not fishing? Yeah. What's wrong with you? Go fishing. I'm enjoying my cherries. Get rid of those bloody cherries and go fishing. And then it'll take me five Plenty minutes. Plenty of time for that. Guarantee I'll be ready before you are. Lana, what flat are you going to use? Um, something. Stupid. Actually, relatively big. What? Yeah. What? I'm not getting summer vibes today. I'm getting like May vibes. Maybe April vibes. It's the first week in August. Yeah, but there's quite a bit of water and it's a little bit colder. 
So my theory is I need something a little bit bigger today. Uh, yes, I'm going to fish that. That's a shitey whitey tied by Edwin White. And I think that is a pretty deadly fly for the spay. Oh, you've got two. That's handy. Oh, that's lucky. I'll take eh? the one without sparkle, please. Oh, well, I've not decided which. Oh, you've got three. I've got three. Oh, great. Yeah. One for Lana, too. Okay. Yeah. Heading for lunch. Fished all morning. No one's had a touch. Um, I had a trout. Oh yeah, you had a trout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does that count? They all count, mate. Are oh, they all okay. count? Okay. The tug is the drug. Well, Damon had a wee tug, but we're really looking for a big tug. The water's really nice. Yeah. But as always with salmon fishing, it's uh, mostly disappointment interjected with little moments of pure ecstasy. But we're having fun, I think. Anyway, let's have some burgers. I don't often give out 10 out of 10s, but it's like a 9.99 .99 out of 10. Mm. Yeah. I can't, because he's looking at me. <laughs> so, um, Damon. Damon has put on a massive sunray, like, big sunray, and isn't just letting it swing little strips, he's roly polying it across the pool. If it works, I'll eat my hat. But obviously if he catches a salmon on it, it doesn't count. Because it's not the way we do it. No, if he gets a salmon, I'll go and net it for him and I'll just like... Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. You think you know a guy. Yeah, you think you know someone. You think you invite them somewhere in good faith and then they start that. <laughs> uh, that is the end of our first day. And it's a blank. Damon's still trying. He's uh, better than the rest of us. He doesn't give up until he gives up. I give up probably before I should. I'm too eager to admit defeat. Uh, Lana's given up too. She's picking flowers. I think some kind of consolation prize. Right, that's it. I've had enough. I'm done. Yeah, day one, over. Drink. Yeah. I mean, Lana says we didn't fish hard enough, but I think I applied, I applied myself in at least three pools. Hmm. I think you fished hard. I think, I 
think we tripped ourselves up a little bit by coming sea trout fishing here last night. I wasn't very good at that. Well, I mean, it's just staying out late and then getting up early and then coming back. And the fishing bit in the middle, I wasn't very good at that. <laughs> I was pretty rubbish at that. Well, yeah, but well, you know, thing. it's hard fishing in the dark when you haven't really done it before. So, Thanks, on a man. new river. Thanks, it is. Man. It's tricky. At least you tried, Colin. Yeah. Yeah, at least I tried. At least I didn't sleep in the car for two hours <laughs> and just not try. Like some Who people would do we that? know. Who would do such a thing? That's really that. bad. But this has been nice. I, yeah. I really like King Carden. It's lovely. I, li I enjoyed every pool I fished today. And I felt like I was going to get a fish every time I fished a pool today, which yeah. is nice. Yeah. It's gorgeous fly water, some lovely runs. And there's fish here. Yeah. Them pools down at the bottom, they've got salmon written all over them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only conclusion I can draw from this is that I'm just not good enough. And I need to go home and think about mm. my actions with a beer and a dram. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, let's go home. She'd like that. Right, chaps. Get in the car. On the Fintor at Cawdor Estate, or on the Upper Beat, and uh, it's really, really beautiful. I think it's probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever fished in Scotland. It's real classic, sort of shortbread tin glens and rolling fields and the beautiful river and the heather is all turning purple. It's pretty spectacular and it's a great time of year to be up here. And, um, and we've got a bit of water and we've seen some fish around. So expectation, expectation levels are really, really high. Everybody's really excited. I feel optimistic. I always feel optimistic when I go fishing. I always think today's the day because one day will be the day. Maybe today will be the day. But there's reasons for optimism. There's reasons for optimism today. We've got water at the start of August, which is pretty unusual. And we have a lovely river to fish in, so yeah. I think it's good. I'm looking to follow to it. You're never catching a fish today. Fish in. Having a look. Yeah. Can you fish this pool? Yeah. Mm. Who's going first? I think you should, Colin. I think we should draw straws. I think you should go first. I'm not going to do that. Ow! Who is going to draw the short straw? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay. But you said the longest one is the one. No. For sakes. <laughs> Did you have a take? Yeah, I was about to cast a little bit prematurely and just as I was literally lifting the fly out of the water, Salmon's head just came up behind it. The, the old retired ghillie here, Sandy, said, looked in my box and said, these are really good, so 
Nice. Well, we're going to leave the pool, but before we leave it, we're going to give it a really good time. You're an animal. Savage. <laughs> and it's beautiful, loads of different types of pools, different types of fishing, um, seen a few fish, didn't get lucky up until about 10 minutes ago when Colin got an absolute stonker. <laughs> um, so guess what I'm now trying to do because if he's the only one that gets a fish on this trip, oh now I'm caught in a tree, look, great. If he's the only one that gets a fish on this trip, I uh, I will just be in pain for oh. months and I'll not hear the end of it and pop the tree again. Oh no, I'm not. Would you say um, that, that it means that he's a better angler than you if you don't catch a fish? Um, I wouldn't necessarily go that are, far. Are salmon idiots? I would say it's all to do with being in the right place at the right time. Oh, I see. And that's I where see. you were, and I wasn't. Oh, I see. If I'd have gone and fished that pool instead of you... Fuck! <laughs> Was that a fish? <laughs> I just had a pool. Shit. Okay. Wait, stop filming me! You're distracting! <laughs> what happened? 
happened? I don't know if I'm ready, to be honest. Mm. I don't really know if I want you to film me again, because, you know... Well, every time I film you, you hook a fish. <laughs> That's actually true. Just that... go back a bit. Hi. Hi. I went farther away. Get the engines going. Where is it? Yeah. Thanks. And um, <clears throat> this might be controversial, but I'm a ketchup guy. Colin doesn't agree with me, and he's a brown sauce guy. Leave in the comments which one. I know what it is, it's always it's going to be brown sauce, but I don't care. I don't feel under any pressure whatsoever. I can't speak for the rest of the guys in the room, but I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to just going and just having a nice day and enjoying myself. I've had a fish, so it's purely just about enjoyment for me. I'm by no means an expert when it comes to catching grills on Highland Rivers because this is the first time I've tried it. Um, but I do know that the small flies work. So luckily I brought my sea trout box with me and um, aside from these like huge monstrosities that I use at night on the rivers where I'm from, um, I've got some tiny, tiny stuff like some little wee doubles here. So I'm probably gonna go for like, Maybe a couple, a couple of tiny little doubles. There's a little silver stoke there. I hear you can't go wrong with that. So you can't go wrong with a silver stoke. Can't stoke. go wrong with a silver stoke, says the ghillie from the Hebrides. So that's going on, and I think I've got a little, a little like blue and silver editor type thing. So yeah, I'll just probably fish a couple of wee doubles on a floating line. See what happens. We've got a pool that we fished yesterday that has got some fish in it. Um, the first pool we fished, so. We'll try again. Hopefully they're in the mood this time and um, we can winkle one out because me and Lana are one nil down. So yeah, that's the tactic.
Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How big? About five pounds. That fresh growth. Outrageous. I started filming running down and all you can hear at the start of it is me going... <sighs> <laughs> No, 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 that was that that was great. I chuffed a bit. <laughs> <laughs>
Well deserved. Thank you. Well deserved. Thank you. Uh, Lana's not a loud one. She's in okay.